Things go from bad to worse as we find unwitting accomplices to a large-scale heist. That's right. When you think about it, why am I supposed to fight them? Can't, can't, I, can't my character just say, Hey, I'm pursuing criminals. Buzz off. I can't fight you right now. But instead, instead I'm forced to fight them and they're stalling for time and... Yeah, it doesn't make much sense when you think about it. Anyway, this battle, actually fairly tricky since all I really have right now is a drill burn and a servine, because, well, Suwaddle and its evolutions, well, I won't hide from it, they're not good Pokémon at all, but given the typings of the Pokémon that I'm using right now, as you can see, I'm getting mauled by Bug Bite. But yeah, the funny thing is that the Suwaddle line just isn't very good. It has the same horrible, horrible defensive typing as Parasect. It has no defenses whatsoever, so um, we're dealing with very, very frail Pokémon here, except everything, uh, all of my strong moves are not very effective, so it just doesn't show that much. And yeah, it's basically sort of a glass cannon thing, except even the attack and speed aren't that interesting, and the type coverage is literally nothing else but bug and grass, so... Yeah, overall, not a Pokémon I would exactly recommend using, but, you know, uh, under the right circumstances in-game, a lot of things can be threatening, and that includes those two Suwaddles that uh, I'm fighting right now. So, just because I'm getting my ass kicked by two Suwaddles doesn't mean that using Leavani as a team member is a smart choice, because it's about as smart as moving to Canada because of Obamacare. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is that I'm a blitzing straight for my second team member, which is Petilil, which can be found in this forest. And after I catch one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind it because it's going to be at a, a very low level. And after that, I'm going to head back to areas where I've already been and uh, use the dowsing machine to be able to find the hidden items that I couldn't see before. So um, over there... We have a Team Plasma Grunt. Don't worry, this isn't the end of that storyline arc. There are a lot more grunts and assorted trainers to face afterwards. Because this area is actually pretty big. Uh, something that I want to point out, though. Uh, just a, a few moments ago, I was uh, bashing Leavani for not being very good. But uh, let's be honest here. If it came uh, several generations ago, it might have had a niche back then. Because the truth is, and this is something that anyone who's played the series for a long time will recognize, is that Pokémon keep getting better and better with each generation, in that uh, even total fodder Pokémon are somewhat respectable compared to uh, the, the total fodder Pokémon from the early generation. So, uh, th this is a phenomenon that has a name, by the way, it's called the Power Creep. So yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. Now, after this grunt, there's some tall grass, which means that this is the place where we're going to be looking for Petilil, so I'll be back in a second. Found one! Let's start off with Metal Claw. It oh, fuck! It misses and it gets a free leech sheet off, so it's gonna keep healing. That is not good for when you try to actually catch a Pokémon. So I'm going to go with a Metal Claw, especially since Dig allows a Leech Sheet to work its effect uh, even more, which is not good in Mega Drain. Holy crap! Holy healing Batman! This is not good! I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for a Pokeball, even though it's healed uh, back to nearly full, because otherwise I'm going to die. So hopefully this works. Two! Three! Yes! Wow! Dodge the bullet here! Big fucking time! So, here's Petilil's uh, dex info for those who are interested. Now, I'm looking for an own tempo Petilil in order to go along with the uh, pedal dance. So let's see if it's got that and or a useful nature, see what it's got. Okay, Petilil, rash nature, own tempo, you know what? This thing's a keeper. Of course, there's that slight special defense drop, but at least attack isn't the stat being boosted here, so it's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. I want to attach my Miracle Seed to it, so let me just find it. 
There we go, Miracle Seed. I'm going to give it to Petulil because it's going to need it a lot. So now I'm going to go level it up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done leveling up my Petulil. It is now standing at level 23 with Mega Drain, Lead Sheet. Oh, we got a hidden item somewhere here. And uh, by the way, being in this area reminds me, yes, I am going to come back to the Challenge Rock off-screen every day to gather some star pieces to convert into PP-Ups later on. Uh, but yeah, it now has um, Mega Drain, Magical Leaf, Lead Sheet, and Sleep Powder. It's not its final move set, of course. Uh, there's going to be a massive update later on, but for now, I am just... Um, going to uh, retrieve those hidden items, and I'm using Petilil right now for a very good reason, and it's that when we get back into the forest, there's not going to be much room for using Petilil, because, let's be honest, it's a horrible place for Petilil to be, because it's full of, oh, okay, an ether here, but yeah, it's full of grass types and bug types, and one of uh, Petilil's and Lilligan's big downfalls is that in terms of offense, it's grass, 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 and more grass. Now, I know that I've said a million times before that um, it's, a very, it's a very bad idea to use a Pokemon with only one attacking type, to which I answer, yes, generally it's not such a good idea, but um, Lilligant has some uh, really cool things going for it that I will go into in depth a bit later. Suffice to say that if there is one Pokemon that I might recommend using only one attacking type on, it would probably have to be a Lilligan. Now, Lenora's right here, and apparently there are no Plasma members in this area. They all made, they all made a, not a beeline, but a, what's, the, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? They all went to Pinwheel Forest. So, now we're back on Route 3, where I believe there's a hidden rare candy, unless I'm mistaken. So, let's look for it, though. I, if I can't find it, though, I should find it, because uh, this thing's got a pretty good pinging range, as we noticed with the previous items. Doesn't appear to be anything in there, so I'm gonna head back. Uh, I think a comment told me to go back to uh, the... To, to this area right here, because there was something hidden. Is there? Nope. Nothing. So whoever it was, you lied to me. Sorry, but, um, I don't really know what to say anymore. Anyway, there's something over here. Nope, not here. Probably up there. And, oh, wow, it's right in the three... Uh, the three. Tree, sorry. Ball mushroom. This is extremely valuable. I don't think you can even sell it at a regular shop. So, okay, I'm gonna need Sir for this one, I guess. So, uh, before I'm done here on Route 2, there's something that I want to show off here. There's a cuttable tree that leads to a couple of items. Uh, there's one over there. There's one over there as well. So, we got a great ball. And down there we have a super potion. Okay, now back to Pinwheel Forest. So we are back in Pinwheel Forest. There are a few items to collect right here. And uh, while I'm doing this, fighting wild Pokemon, fighting trainers, finding items, uh, I was talking earlier on about what Lilligan can bring to the table so that uh, having only one attacking type would be okay. And, um, by the way, sorry about that, I'm a complete moron. Uh, my Drill Bird, it's level 25 right now. It learns Slash at level 26. I probably should have grinded it a bit because Slash is going to make that area a whole lot easier. It's gonna get kills that Metal Claw or not very effective Dig couldn't. And for that, I'm, so I I'm sorry for that mistake. But yeah, as I, I was talking about Lilligant. Uh, I already hinted at the Petal Dance own tempo combo, which deals devastating damage uh, without even having to go into confusion. There are also a few other things. There's Sleep Powder, which is a, um, a, a really cool sleep move, the most accurate out there outside from the very uncommon Spore and Dark Void, so Sleep Powder, you definitely don't want to pass it up, especially uh, if you if you want help catching Pokemon, 
But perhaps most importantly, Lilligan gets one of the so-called uber stat-boosting moves in Quiver Dance, which is like a Calm Mind on steroids. It boosts special attack, special defense, and speed. So that's really, really awesome. You definitely don't want to pass it up. By the way, Tyler Worthington, if you're listening to this, and you're probably not, but if you're listening to this, what were you thinking during the marathon? The entire chat got you to evolve your petty little before level 28 so it could learn Quiver Dance. And then your Lilligant reaches level 28 and you pass up on Quiver Dance. I will repeat this. The only reason why Lilligant is really, really usable in-game is because of Quiver Dance. Well, maybe not the absolute only reason, but still. A Lilligant without a Quiver Dance is... It's not Lilligant. It's just... It's just an elephant turd. You made me a very, very sad panda because I love Lilligant. And to see it defy like that was no fun at all. So, enough about that tangent. One thing that I want to say about Lilligant is that um, it's not a really good choice competitively, but it's somewhat serviceable because of chlorophyll, that's right, no pedal dance, own tempo, own tempo combo uh, in competitive play, you really want to use chlorophyll, obviously uh, in combination with nine tails, and even there, it's definitely not the best chlorophyll uh, Pokemon available. If you want one, you should look for um, Venusaur or to a lesser extent, uh, Sawsbuck. But uh, enough about Lilligant, um, there are still a few Pokémon that I want to talk about that are found in this area, and I guess uh, the item is over in that tall grass. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's Lilligant's counterpart uh, in black, which is Whimsicott. Um, basically, you don't want to use this thing in-game at all. Its stats suck, except for speed. The only thing it has going for it is Prankster, which makes it actually a decent choice competitively because it gives priority to a lot of moves that normally shouldn't have priority, like Lead Sheet and stuff like that. Prankster is a really incredible ability competitively, so that makes uh, Whimsicott somewhat serviceable, but uh, in-game it's just not worth using, unlike, uh, unlike Lilligan. And finally, the last Pokémon in this area, you're looking at it right now, Venipede, which eventually evolves into a uh, Scolipede. Unlike Leavani, it's not a totally lost cause. It has actually a fairly decent defensive move pool. Problem is, uh, once again, its defenses are absolute shit. Its attack is... Uh, quasi-acceptable, depends on what a 90 attack is worth to you. However, it is really, really fast. Now, Bug Poison isn't a very good typing. I think we can all agree on that. But if you really, really want to use one, it's either going to be Scolipede or Venomoth. Um, personally, my, my personal choice would be Venomoth, but um, Scolipede isn't a totally lost cause. Not saying it's a really good Pokemon or even good, but it's sort of decent. I guess I could say, just so I don't sound overly harsh on every single Pokémon I review except the very best. And that's one thing that you've probably noticed, is that I'm very, very picky when it comes to which Pokémon I actually get to use. But uh, my logic is that there are so many Pokémon nowadays that... Uh, why not? Why not be picky? I can afford it! So, we got a lot of things done today. We caught a Petilil, leveled it up, we went back for the uh, the hidden items we missed. We even had the time to make some headway into Pinwheel Forest, so join me next time for more! <laughs>